All right, here we go again, huh? Here we go again. Same old crap again. Another terror, another rage, another chaotically insane person again. Except this time, they're not using firearms. Guess what they're wielding? A knife. You know, my condolences again. I, you know, I hate to keep saying it over and over again because it sounds so mechanical. It, it literally does. It just sounds so mechanical, heartless, unsullen. But anyway, think about this for a second. How many politicians are you going to hear putting forth legislation or even acting like they're putting forth legislation to ban knives? Because we just had somebody just kill four people in a knife attack. A knife attack. Are we going to start banning all knives now? You remember when I told you, uh, I think it was two years ago, I said you might as well start banning vehicles because pretty soon you're going to start seeing people getting run over by vehicles. What happened? Over in France, a guy jumped the curb and started running people over. Over in Canada, downtown Toronto, what did he do? Took a vehicle and just started running people over. Over here in Virginia, at this white supremacist rally and stuff, turned around and started running people over. Nobody's calling for banning cars, call, banning vehicles, banning trucks. Nobody's calling, banning knives. It's always that firearm. It's always that firearm, that inanimate object that cannot function without the intervention of a human being. Period. Just like the knife. But you know what? See, it's all a dog and pony show. It's called mental gymnastics. That's exactly what it's called. Because... They want to continue to keep toying around and playing on your sorry feelings and emotions. I'm talking to you people out there who are unaware, who are dumb on purpose, who simply just don't get it. They want to continue to keep banning all these guns so they can make us into a, a nation like Australia, where the crime rate is, is rivaling that of Chicago or over there in England. It's sad to where the only thing you can do is look at a picture on the wall. But I wonder if these hypocrites are going to cause the banning of knives because this guy just used a he says four hours of terror and a guy used a knife to do it and killed four people so is that where's the outrage where is it are we going to see this ban all knives now damn it ban them you know i'm of an old school mindset and i'm gonna go ahead and end this video because this is literally tiring you're just tired. You're just tired. I'm, I'm going to lay it out here. I'm of the mindset. I'm going to show you right now. I'm going to give you the solution how to stop all this damn carnage and madness. You want to know how to do it? Here it is. Whatever way someone uses to kill innocent civilians, times that by 10 and kill them the same damn way. Simple, simple. Where you get that from, Pastor Dow? Oh, the Bible, the many you say you carry and believe. Uh-huh, an eye for an eye and a two for a two. Oh, we ain't under that law. Because you're not under that law, we're a nation of lawlessness. Look, <laughs> look, it's just, it's systemically crazy, isn't it? Huh? See, it, it's already enough that we have been modified through GMOs. Just literally modified. It's already enough that we're chaotically insane and we don't know up from down. We don't know right from wrong. We don't know our left from right. We're, 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 we're spiritually bankrupt. We're morally decayed. That's what we are. And we're insane in this country, written with unladen sins and lust. Just period, just taking over. No such thing as ethics, morals, or values. We're sociably corrupt. We're following in the footsteps in the history of ancient Rome. And ain't nobody have enough gumption enough to get up and tell you the flat out salute. Look, that guy killed four people with a knife. So you get four people, you tie his ass up, and you put four knives in his ass. That's what you do. Put them in there. And when people see the public display of that type of justice right there, and I might add that is justice, because let's just tell the truth. Families who have lost loved ones, people who have been victims and their lives are gone. The families that are left behind, they still have the pain and suffering to know that justice ain't been served because you lock them up in a damn jail cell and give them three squares and a cop and you get them away from the general public, which I might add, if you just go ahead and let them free, the public itself will take care of it. 
It don't need this so-called justice system. Because truth is, we all know it's a farce. There ain't no justice in this country. No, it ain't. This is the United States criminal of America, where the criminals get all the passes. All of them do. Why is it? You know, you remember when Robert Kraft, the owner of the New England Patriots, went down to the House of Irrepute down there in Florida? You know, massage parlor. Got him on tape. Is that billionaire head spinning? No, but Epstein says, oh, but he dealt with little young girls and everything. Young but but ne nevertheless, he still broke the law. There's a double standard. You know it, and I know it. Disproportionate injustice going on in this country. And you cannot expect justice from a country that's got people so-called representing us, and I might add, taxation without representation. That's what we got, because we didn't elect these fools. We did not let these damn fools up here who are chaotically insane, modified, up there snorting all that crack and coke and meth and them going through their damn head and they call themselves our free world leaders. We didn't elect them. These damn bozo clowns. Yeah, I do get upset. I, I get just a little bit passionate. But see, it's also your religion that lies like hell. They want to continue to keep this, this construct going to keep you duped. And low to sleep. Keep you in the damn matrix to make you feel comfortable to where it's more important for you to trade your civil liberties and comforts of life to be protected than to learn how to protect your own self. Don't tread on me.